So I was telling my friend the other day that our middle speaker channel on our audio system is busted. And it really sucks because he loses out on one third of the audio. You now, audio amplifiers seem pretty simple. Is there anything we could do to design our own? Yeah, it seems pretty simple. I mean, we need two stages. One for the filtering and then one for the amplification. Now, if only I had some diagrams to show you what kind of components we're going to be using. Perfect. So we can use a combination of capacitors and inductors and resistors for the passive filtering stage. And in terms of amplification, we can use diodes and op amps and transistors. The three types of filters we will use are a low pass filter, a band pass filter, and a high pass filter. The low pass filter will go to the subwoofer, the band pass filter will go to the mid range speakers, and the high pass filter will go to the tweeters. So for this project, we should probably have some performance metrics. So, you know, taking a small low power audio input from a cell phone or an MP3 player and amplifying it. Yeah, and for our filtering, I think we should have three frequency bands. 20 hertz to 500 hertz, 500 hertz to 4 kilohertz, and 4 kilohertz to 20 kilohertz. Yeah, that makes sense. And that would probably be able to drive, you know, a small home theater system. Yeah, and these goals will allow us to know that we've actually done our design correctly. The low power input signal first goes into the three filters. Then the different signals are routed through the amplifiers and then into their respective speakers. The filters will be done before the amplification stage as not to amplify the input noise. We can also add maybe a variable output to the amplifier so that we can change the overall volume. Yeah, that sounds like a cool idea. Derek, what are you doing behind a tree? Well, you didn't think whiteboards grew on trees, did you? Hmm. You guys want to go grab some pizza?